Hey everyone, Austin Dedman here. I'm with Loop Community today, and I'm super excited to share with you some tips on how to put your own sounds onto the Nord Stage 2 keyboard. Now, believe me when I say the Nord Stage 2 has some incredible built-in sounds, but it's really only a matter of time before you need to add your own sounds to the keyboard. Luckily, the Nord Stage 2 allows you to upload your own samples to the synth section. So I'm gonna show you how to do that now. Now, the Nord Stage 2 can take any audio file so long as it's 44.1 kHz and 16-bit. This could be a vocal recording, it could be something you recorded in your studio. It can come from anywhere. It can come from Logic, from Ableton, from Pro Tools, Fruity Loops, doesn't matter. For the purposes of this video though, I'm going to take a synth that I made in Logic and upload it to the Nord. So let's get into it. I'm going to go ahead and open up Logic and create a new track. And I'm gonna go over here to the ES2 synth because that's awesome. And let's say um, I have this patch called Awesomeness and it sounds like this. Awesome, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to record minor thirds. Now you can actually sample every single note, but that's gonna take up a whole bunch of unnecessary room on your keyboard. So you gotta compromise a little bit if you're like me and you like having tons of sounds on your keyboard. So we're gonna go with minor thirds and all we're gonna do is just record them into Logic like so. Great. Now what we're going to do is we are going to bounce that track out and we're going to make sure that it is 44.1 kilohertz, 16 bit. Now, it's very crucial that you bounce everything out and save them to a place where you know you're gonna have it. I would suggest bouncing it out to an external drive, but since we're at Loop Community Headquarters, I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my desktop right now. Here we go. We're gonna put it in our bounces folder. I already have something called awesomeness, so I'm just gonna call this awesome2. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to go to the Nord sample editor so we can bring this into the Nord keyboard. So go ahead and get your Nord sample editor. Now the first thing you need to do is save the project and name it something memorable because whatever you save the project, that's what the Nord is going to call the synth. So we're gonna go ahead and hit Command S and call this Awesome 2. So save the project. Now there's an add button here over toward the left. And if you're organized, you're gonna know exactly where you put this. So desktop, untitled, bounces, Awesome 2. And just to preview it, hit the space bar. There we go. So now, as you can see, we have our audio file loaded up here. And what we can do is we can automatically assign every single one of these notes using this program. The start key, we're going to pick C3. Now, just an aside, if you end up picking the wrong octave, you can simply delete the mappings and start over again. It's very easy. So, starting key, C1. We're going three semitones because that's what our minor thirds are. Threshold of negative 45 decibels is going to be fine. Now we hit assign. And now we have all of the notes assigned to our keyboard. The next thing we want to do is we want to make sure that the samples start in the right place. And as you can see, it looks good. Now we're going to hit the sample loop button here at the top of this window. And we're going to go ahead and set that loop right now. Let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Add a little bit of a crossfade. And what's cool is that you can actually select the type of crossfade to use, and it'll show you a waveform so you can uh, make sure to pick the right crossfade curve. All right, next thing we're gonna do is go over to where it says loop length variation, and go ahead and hit 0%. I want all the loops to be the same in this case, right? Now when you hit apply loop, it's gonna take the loop you just edited for that one note and apply it to all of the notes. So hit apply loop. Next, we're gonna go to sample alternate start. This is great for string sounds. Let's say it's like a marcato sound 
and you want to be able to have one option where it's the beginning of the sample, or maybe you want more of a legato sound using that sample. You can select alternate start, so that way it skips over that initial marcato attack. But in this case, the synth basically starts and it's going, so we don't really need to worry about it. Now what we're going to do is we are going to hit generate, and we want to make sure that the download checkbox is engaged because that's going to take that instrument and put it onto the Nord. If it's not engaged, it's just going to make the instrument without putting it on the Nord. So go ahead and hit generate. It'll show us the size of the file, which is kind of cool. And now if we look to the Nord, you'll see that it is downloading and that it'll automatically jump to that same sound when we engage the synth. So as you can see, we're at synth uh, 43 on my keyboard. It'll probably be different for you. It's totally fine. And now we can play it back. And I'm going to go ahead and mute logic. And now on our keyboard, we have our patch. I'm playing in minor thirds because that's how I tracked it. But. Now from here, you can make any adjustments you need. I would suggest checking the volume of this patch with the other patches on the keyboard, just to make sure it's the same volume. You can adjust that volume back in the sample editor over here by going over to the instrument. You can hit normalize all, you can adjust the global gain or the gain of individual notes. But as you can see, we already have that done for us. So that is one way to put your own sounds onto the Nord keyboard. So as you can tell, the ability to upload your own samples to this keyboard is really effective when it comes to getting the sounds you really need for your service. So I hope you found this useful, and we'll see you next time.